My name is Tamisha Williams and I'm 34 years old. Hey, Tamisha, how did you get involved in sport climbing? Well, I started pretty late. Um, I started at 13. Um, I started from school uh, through Carolyn Vaughn. Uh, she came to the school to teach a couple of kids how to play and I saw the game and was curious and I, I asked if I could play and she allowed me to play and I was fascinated with it so she invited us, a couple others to national junior training so started from there. How long have you been in sport? Well I started from at 13 to 17 and I stopped in 2000. And I started for like 10, 10, 11 years, and I started back in 2009, so from 2009 till now. Okay, so you have any more like personal information that you like to share? Um, I'm a clerical officer. Um, I'm attached to the Office of the Attorney General, the Counts Department. Um, I have one daughter, she's 12 years old. She goes to school at the Alexandra School. Um, what, what, what would you say is your biggest accomplishment thus far in this work? In this work, um, well, I have a few. I wouldn't say one top the other. Um, I was able to bring home gold at Caribaco in Jamaica. Um, that is 2013 um, in doubles. Um, I was able to make my first singles, first um, finals in singles. I came home with a silver. And again, last, is last year? No, last year I, I, I came second in the Suriname International. And Caribaco, um, my partner and I um, won mixed doubles, Daki Thorpe. So that was, last year was a pretty good year for me. So. Okay, what would you say is one of your biggest hurdles um, pertaining to this work? One of my biggest hurdles, I am, I would say, outside of my club support. Because obviously, if you're your club, your club member and probably support you. But other than that, um, really proving myself to the rest of the badminton body, and certain people would have, you know, a lot of negativities. But being able to overcome that and you know push past that, no, because you know you know what you want to do, and so the negativity you have to push past that in order to achieve your goals. Okay. Who are some of the people within the sport that you look at to say locally in the Caribbean and internationally? Well, for me internationally, I I love to see um, Ratana Intanon from Thailand. And um, Wang, Yi, Wang Yi Han from China. I, I, I love both of them. They, they're fighters. And within the Caribbean, um, my biggest rival, Solange Guzman from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. Um, what are your goals setting like? Within the sport, um, honestly, to bring home an uh, individual goal in singles, yeah. Okay, so and what and are you doing currently to, to help you achieve this? Well, I, I have um, training, uh, two training sessions, two personal training sessions a week. I mean, it's not enough, but with my schedule, with work and my daughter, that's, so I make the most of it. Um, is difficult for me to get in club time, but I do when I can. So, and I also try to do my physicals and you know gym work and whatever to keep myself fit. Okay. What's your diet like? Well, I I'm not on a very strict diet. I I won't I won't say I have a diet. I, you know, um, I more or less try to eat clean every day. So I wouldn't tell myself, well, I'm gonna eat clean for this a period of time. So I try to make an everyday thing, a lifestyle thing. So I, mean, I still have my, my dumb moments where I splurge a bit, but I try not to overdo that. Because at the end of the day, you're an athlete, so you still have to take care of your body. What was the best advice that was ever given to you in the sport? Within the sport, um, my coach always used to tell me, that's a thousand forward. 
trust the process, be patient and trust the process and that really, it really paid off. So. How does it, how does it feel for, for you know, to, to have um, your club having a dedicated facility for this work and how has that helped you? It has a great deal because I mean, you have 24 hour, seven days a week access to the club. So even if you don't have strict training days, you can still come up and knock up at club. You can still come up and work on um, certain shots you want to play, you know, do your footwork and even do physicals, you know, endurance work. So it, it really, it really has helped a lot. It has helped our club as well. And some of the players, it really has improved a lot of our, um, our, our play. And to have the club fight to get this, it makes you, you know, it makes you appreciate how your club really, oh, my club, Shuttlers, really, you know, look up for their players, you know. So it makes you want to okay. be more dedicated. So what advice would you give to, to anyone that wants to start to do that? Yeah, come out. It's, it's fun and you enjoy it along with getting fit and you have a really good atmosphere with the club members. It make you feel really welcome at home, you know, make you part of the Shuttlers family.